Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is another vlog. I am about to go show a couple houses to my clients and I need to leave in like 10 minutes. But I do want to show you guys my outfit before I do. And today's vlog is going to be a combination of a few days. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, today is actually really gloomy outside. It's like 60 something today. Which is really weird because yesterday it was 90 and it was literally boiling. So my outfit kind of reflects the weather. So let me show you guys. So this is the outfit that we're working with. So I am wearing a black turban. It's the Verona Collection scarf that I literally wear all the time. I'm wearing a black t-shirt and this t-shirt is from Zara. I It's one of their basic tees. I love them because they're thick and they're not see-through because I had gotten some from H&M a while ago and they were see-through so I'd have to wear something underneath and it, was, it just gets too hot, you know? This jacket that I'm wearing is from H&M. I got this maybe years ago or like a year and a half ago like two winters ago and I really like it I love the detail on the sleeve it kind of has uh, like two types of texture which I really like and I really like how in the back it kind of it scoops so it gives you a little bit more shape and I like how it flops here I feel like it just looks a little bit badass but still classy you know and then my pants these are from Gap Y'all know how I feel about Gap jeans. I really like them because they kind of have not really an acid wash to them, but they do have a little bit of coloring and then they have the pockets, which is why I went with these casual shoes. And these are my white Fila. I went with the casual shoes because initially I was going to wear these um, white heels, but just with the pockets and kind of the casual vibe of the outfit, I thought the heels would, it just wouldn't go as well you know so this is the full outfit and for my perfume i am wearing the black tulip from nest i love this perfume i think it's so beautiful and it, i've never smelled anything like it which is why i love it so much so this is what i'm wearing and then for jewelry i have this ring on i got this from an etsy shop and i just love how it looks like and then on this hand i have these two rings over here that i actually got from a market in la when i went down there so it was a kind of like a market outside so they don't they didn't have a website i'm really sorry about that but um you can find these all over etsy you can find them at h&m and other places but i like these because they are um gold plated so they're not going to tarnish and i have a thing with washing my hands literally a million times a day and this would have been literally tarnished by now so but they're not they're in really good condition i really love them but yeah that is what my outfit looks like today um i woke up this morning and i had so much work to do and i I was feeling really overwhelmed so I got that all done and checked so much things off my to-do list and I feel like that honestly is the when I feel the most accomplished and that's one thing that I like to do too is I have this notepad I'll actually show you so I have this notepad over here so I have two actually this one the bottom one it just says journal and it's in this mint green mint green color my sister actually got this for me when I first started my job because I work for myself basically and I needed a place to write all of my notes and so this is what I take with me to work in meetings because you guys can see like I think I'm a quarter of the way done with it right now yeah like a little bit more than a quarter I love this notebook one thing that you can do too let's say you're on a day you can have them titled in subjects like for example here I can write like my clients name and the day that I met them and then here I can have all the details of everything that we talked about but you let's say you want to refer back to this a few months down the line and think like dang when did I meet with this person you can circle them so you can say like July 19th for example and circle that so you can refer back to your notes like for example when I first started my job I have like all my notes that I had regarding my open houses and things that I wanted to do and XYZ. So for example, here would be like a page of things that I had when I was taking notes about open houses and how to conduct myself and whatnot when I first started my job. So I can refer back to this if I need notes. So this I take with me all the time when I go to work. This notebook over here, this one is, I got this from Muji actually. It was literally a few bucks. I just like that it goes with my office theme really well. You know what I mean? So this notebook is my to-do list notebook or things that I need to get done. So this stays at my desk 
all the time literally alongside my laptop like this and this are always at my desk so basically I kind of have a checklist so for example on May my to-do list was for example, I need to send a seller disclosure to sign. So this was one thing that I had to do relating to a transaction that I had going on. And so I write down the list of things that I need to get done and then I just cross them off when they're completed. And the pages are really nice. I just like that. I like how thin it is and it's it looks good on my desk. But yeah, Muji, few dollars, I love it. Also, you guys, another thing. So at my desk too, I have a stash of pens because I love color coordinating things. I just think, but I just think it makes everything so much nicer. Because if I'm gonna be doing the task anyway, I might as well do it with some fun. You know what I mean? So at my desk, I'll show you. I have a stash of pens that I like to use, and they're sharpies, but they're the thin ones. So I use those to kind of write down everything on that book the Muji book and the book that I take with me to work so let me show you so I have this section over here and this just has my jewelry which I'll push back but this section is all of my pens and so here I have a bunch of colorful pens so these are pens that I can use on the books and they're not going to um, have ink go through them and I, I love this brand it's the paper mate ink joy I literally am obsessed with these and I have them in like a million different colors and then here I literally just have three sharpies and this is what I use to highlight when I completed something and then this beautiful stash of sharpies over here I got these at Target actually and they're the sharpie ultra fine point pen honestly a pack of 20 something and I just keep them in here and just because it's easy for me. I have my pens here, my to-do list here, so I can just easily check them off as I go. These little um, storage container things are from Muji as well. They were only a couple of bucks and I like them because I like the separation. These are pens, these are Sharpies, and I like how they look like. And then also I have these little, um, these little clip things because sometimes when I need to mark a spot on my uh, notebook or to-do list and I don't have a paper clip, I'll just have these and I kind of just lay them like that so they stay there and if I need them, I can just pull them. This notebook over here is also from Muji, but this is, I'm going to be using once this one is completed. But I also like the color of it because it goes with the vibe of my office. But yeah. But yes, anyway, that's, that's kind of my setup at my desk. And in the morning, the first thing I do is I get my coffee, I sit down at my desk, and I look through my Google Calendar and see what my reminders are for the day, the things that I need to have done, and what my day is going to look like. And then I'll go through my to-do list and say, okay, this is what I know I can get done today and also like you want to be realistic with yourself and not put down like 10 million things but realistically you're not going to get them done you know so I'll put down like five or six things that I know are a priority and have to be done that day and then I'll just check them off as I go and I like to do that because I just feel like I'm getting shit done instead of just going with the flow not knowing what my day is going to hold you know I just like that structure especially in the morning because it doesn't make me feel anxious. I know what needs to be done and I kind of just do it. You feel me? Okay. But anyway, I'm about to head out. I'm gonna go show my clients a couple of homes and I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, toodaloo. What's up you guys? So I just got to the first home that I'm gonna be showing my clients, but they're not here yet. They're running a little bit late, but I did want to tell you a couple of things. First things first, my car smells like the leaves candle from Bath & Body Works and it's literally the best thing that has ever happened to me long story short like a couple of weeks ago or so i i have this scent portable thing that i put in my car because i like my car to smell nice and it was so hot that i ended up melting and it melted the liquid on the inside and it started dripping onto my seat and it was disgusting so i had to toss that one away and i yesterday i actually just went and got a new one and they already brought out their fall scents so they got the, they have their they have leaves some of the scents i saw they have leaves they have sweater weather they have flannel those are like my top three and so i ended up getting the leaf scent and i got actually a couple more as backup and my car i'm i it's i think i'm just gonna put the leaves scent throughout the whole year because it's not strong where you feel like it's too vanilla -y and pumpkin-y where you feel like you're suffocated when it's like 90 degrees in your car you know it's just so freaking perfect i love it second thing i forgot to mention um what bag i'm going to be carrying with me with my little outfit and i got this bag it's 
in my vlog i said it was a koza numbers but apparently you say it as koja it's a koja numbers bag it's so flipping cute and it's so puny and it fits all my stuff literally perfectly and i wear it as a crossbody and it was a little bit too long so i ended up tying it and apparently that's a look because the whole vibe of the bag is very like thin simple whatever and so this kind of it doesn't look like it's weird and I was looking online too like through the Instagram like the posts that they were tagged in and a lot of people seem to have been wearing it like this too so this bag is my cute little purchase that I'm gonna be wearing with my outfit so it's just wanted to show you guys what bag I'm carrying but yeah that's basically what's happening now waiting for my clients I'm just gonna go walk around the neighborhood and see what's what's the move, what's going on, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. He terminates and deposited earnest money goes back to the buyer. Good morning, everybody. Today is the next day. It's Thursday today. Um, yesterday, after I ended up showing a home, I had a lot of work I needed to get done, so I just came home did all of that and um, around like 8 p.m. I just felt like this burst of energy so I wasn't going to go to the gym yesterday because I had gone Monday Tuesday and I was gonna go today and Friday and then make up that fifth day on Saturday but I had energy and I'm like you know what let's just go do the damn thing so I went to the gym I'm so happy I went I came home put on a face mask had some tea had some of my huge chocolate that y'all know I'm obsessed with and just knocked out and this morning um woke up i had a huge glass of water i fed bertha my plant <laughs> and i'm about to head out actually because uh, one of my clients is wanting to look at some homes but i want to go look at the homes before she looks at the homes to make sure i have an idea of what we're going into and all of that so i'm gonna go do that hence why i'm wearing like super chill clothes i'll actually show you what i'm wearing it's really casual so I'm literally wearing an all black outfit. I'm wearing a black beanie that I got from Forever 21 literally like two years ago. I'm wearing this super, I wouldn't say it's super baggy, but kind of, it's comfortable. This hoodie that I got from the Fashion District when I went down to LA. And then these leggings, y'all. Okay. I am obsessed with Lululemon leggings. I literally think they're the most comfortable, most flattering leggings ever. But these leggings are the closest dupe that I've ever found to Lululemon aligned leggings. They have the same V cut in the back that flatters you. And also they're so stinking comfortable and they're not expensive and they usually have deals on them. Like I got, mine for I was buy one get one half off and I think they're originally 40 so each pair is only $20 which is not bad especially for the quality the buttery feel of them and how they make you look they're literally amazing they're from Aerie they're the 7 8 play legging I will link them down below please do yourself a favor look at them they're amazing because I know my aligns are so expensive they're around like a hundred dollars and for me that's worth it just because i'm at the gym all the time so that expense is worth it for me but i swear if you're looking to slowly get into it try the airy leggings they have them in a few colors they have them in black and a navy i know they have them in a like a maroon color and a green you guys you need to check them out anyway back to my outfit so yeah these are the leggings and i love them because they cut off on seven they're like a seven eight length so they cut off exactly where you would want them to cut off and they don't bunch up at the bottom because i hate that look and then my shoes i don't know if i showed you all this before but these are nike vapor maxes i love these i got them and they're kind of in this greenish grayish black color i like the neutral vibe of it just because a lot of what i wear is neutral so i want to stick with that theme because i have other vapor maxes that are more stand out they're like white and a neon and i love those when i'm wearing super neutral but today i want it to be to be you know very very neutral all the way through which is why i'm wearing these but yeah that's my outfit very casual um 
one thing i wanted to say is that if you're looking for an oversized hoodie h&m has them and they're really nice and i think they're like 20 bucks or something like that also amazon the amazon hanes sweatshirts they're literally like 10 bucks a piece and they're so comfortable and i just like I, I love them so anyway I will link those down below too if you guys are interested because I know that sometimes finding comfortable sweatshirts that aren't gonna fall apart is a struggle and I just am really careful with how I wash them so I have a specific I have specific detergent that I use for my workout clothes and stuff like that but yeah that's it but one thing I want to show you guys so yesterday after I went to show a home I had a couple hours to kill so I ended up going to the mall and I bought a couple of skincare things from Sephora that I want to show you guys there are only two things but I'm so excited about them so the first thing that I got was this Laneige lip sleeping mask in vanilla this is what that looks like my sister has these, my sisters have these, and they love it. And I've heard really good things about them because when I used to work at Sephora, they had just come out. And um, I got like a mini sample of them, and I remember thinking it was amazing. But I didn't like the scent that it had in it, but they hadn't come out with the vanilla one yet. So when I saw that they had these, I went and picked it up because what I've been using, my two other favorite lip lip mask lip balms whatever you call it is the by agave one i love this one too this one is so hydrating this one's amazing and the last one is this fresh sugar caramel hydrating lip balm so those are the three that i have and i alternate them you know because sometimes you just gotta keep it interesting so yeah but i got this lineage one yesterday and i've been wearing it I've literally reapplied this four times even though my lips are hydrated, but I'm obsessed. And the other thing that I got was, okay, so long story short, I have a skincare obsession, especially in the past year. I've been so into skincare. I'm going to set you down. Can you see me? Kinda, okay. Yeah, so I've been having literally a skincare obsession and I've been slowly but surely accumulating skincare and for me personally, it's so worth investing in skincare like i will be more than happy to pay 70 dollars for a face mask if i know that it's actually going to have good benefits instead of going to target let's say and buying a face mask that's mediocre like for me no problem i would totally go like dude half my makeup is literally drugstore but that's the, that's the difference between it is that that's makeup and this is skincare and i put a lot of value in my skincare so with that being said i've been eyeing this indie lee toner and i've been thinking about getting it but i already have the the fresh soy deep hydrating facial toner and i love this stuff and it actually has rose petals in it and it's very very hydrating so i usually use this at night and i also have the mario badescu glycolic acid toner which i also really love this is my second one i actually think i mentioned this in a favorite before and i love this stuff and i love how much it cleans the crap out of my face like you think after makeup that there's nothing on your skin like after you've cleansed but i swear this thing is a reality check like you will have nasty stuff on your face that you literally didn't even know you had so basically I ended up I was I honestly was literally just going to go get that lip balm but then I passed by it and I was like oh so I was looking around and I ended up getting it and it smells so good and the packaging is so beautiful like it has the nicest glass packaging and I'm obsessed so I got that as well and I also got a sample of their cleanser and the uh, gal who was working skincare was basically saying how the cleanser is more like of a brightening cleanser and it has strawberries in it and so it has vitamin C which is a brightening ingredient so I've been trying that out too I tried it yesterday morning and this morning and I love it too so that might be my next purchase we'll see but but yeah, anyway, I'll show you guys a sneaky peeky of my skincare drawer. It's not the most organized. I need to find a better way to organize it. I just don't really know how, but. So this is kind of an overview of some of the things. So in here, I have my face mask. I have the Summer Friday Jet Lag Mask, which is amazing if you're super dehydrated. Like this would be awesome to take with you on the plane or if you're traveling because your skin sometimes needs 
major help so this is awesome for it and then I have a couple of other masks in here I have my cuticle oil that I use literally religiously every single day multiple times a day I have cotton pads in here and then here I have my lip balms and here I have like little samples of oils and some eye creams and then in the back over there my Laneige moisturizer that y'all know I love so much and then a Kiehl's moisturizer and then in here I just have my toners and I have my sunscreen in here and then this is the Dr. Dennis Grows, um, what do you call them? The daily peel pads, these are incredible. So my dilemma is this is currently what my skincare drawer looks like. However, this is not all of my skincare stuff. In here I have the Sephora bag that's been sitting there and it has a bunch of other masks and moisturizers like face moisturizers and a bunch of other things in there but I literally have no idea what to do with it so what I was thinking of doing is getting a um, like a drawer thing from Ikea that matches the vibe of my room probably like a black or really really dark wood and then designating like two or three of those for my skincare because not only do I have stuff in that Sephora bag I also have stuff downstairs in my makeup section so I just feel like everything's a little bit all over the place so I want to find a way to like consolidate everything and have it be in one spot so I that might be my next project is figuring out a solution for that but for right now that's kind of the layout not the best layout but yeah and every time I get a new skincare product you know like every time you get a new makeup product or a new piece of clothing or whatever you get so excited about all the clothes that you have because it re-inspires you that's literally what it is so Anyway, I need to head out. I have 20 minutes to get there and it takes 15 minutes to get there. So I'm gonna leave right now and I will catch up with you guys soon. Okie dokie, so now, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but, but I want to play a podcast. I know it's only, um, the drive is only 15 minutes, but I, I'm not really feeling music. Also. By the way, if you guys are looking for a good podcast recommendation that's related around like health, wellness, stuff like that, you guys should listen to the Food Medic podcast. It's by Dr. Hazel Wallace. And I was listening to this episode basically talking about can you actually die of a broken heart? Because, you know, sometimes you see like older people when they lose their partner, um, they end up getting really sick and end up passing away shortly after. It's actually a really interesting podcast. They touch on that towards the end of the podcast, but it was still really informative. I really liked it so I will link that one down below too but it's called the food medic podcast by dr. Hazel Wallace and it's season 3 episode 5 if you guys are trying to look for it but anyway I'm gonna play a podcast and we'll get the show on the road okay hey guys so I just finished looking at the houses for my client and I'm stopping buy at Whole Foods really quickly to pick up a couple of things. Um, I ran out of oat milk at home and uh, I can't have regular milk because I'll bloat. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick that up really quickly and I'm going to see if they have this rice bread thing that I always eat from because I finally found it by the way and it's freaking delicious. It's gluten free. All ingredients are super clean. So I'm going to go do that and um, also another thing that I like to do let me step out one second the lighting is a little bit weird but one thing that I like to do too when I go grocery shopping or go to the mall or do anything alone I just like to put in my airpods and listen to a podcast and or like something informative or music sometimes I just like being in my own zone because I love grocery shopping and I like shopping too so that's kind of what's going on I'm just gonna listen to a podcast and browse around but yeah I'll take you guys along with me guys so this is some of the best chips if you're looking for tortilla chips but that are healthier and have really clean ingredients you guys should check this out it's the Siate grain free tortilla chip this one is the non salted one and the ingredients on here are just those five ingredients and they come in a bunch of different flavors like they have the non salted one they have the sea salt flavor 
they have even nacho and ranch I got the fuego one I can't I'm not finding it but these are bomb if you're looking for a healthier alternative so I highly highly recommend these so you guys if you're looking for really healthy ranch dressing I love this primal kitchen line they have the best most amazing dressing I really like the vegan ranch that's the one I usually get there's another ranch one I get but I'm just not finding it but I've tried the green goddess and it's amazing I think I might get the cilantro lime this time around and you just kind of shake it up all the ingredients on here are so clean everything is readable and it's supposed to be paleo as well which is awesome because paleo a lot of what's in paleo is really whole ingredients so primal kitchen if y'all are looking for awesome dressings hey guys so i literally just left whole foods Ooh, i'm out of breath for some reason but anyways um as you guys saw i went and i got some lunch because it was around 2 p.m and i still hadn't eaten so i got some lunch it was really good i got like a salad with olives and chicken and like this fish Thing, and potatoes and some veggies it was really healthy it was super good but anyway I ended up getting a little bit more from Whole Foods than I thought I was gonna get and I literally have a stash of uh, paper not paper bags bags that reusable bags in my trunk and I literally forgot them so anyway I want to show you guys what I got from Whole Foods okay let me just take off my airpods because that's just not very nice so anyway this past month I've had this obsession with um, popcorn I love the Trader Joe's olive oil popcorn and I was looking for something similar here because I don't want to go drive to Trader Joe's and I found this and it's called the lesser what is this it's organic popcorn with coconut oil and pink Himalayan salt and this is what it looks like and the ingredients on this is super healthy it's organic popcorn organic extra virgin coconut oil and Himalayan salt so all really awesome ingredients so if I want a snack this is healthy and it's good so this is the first time I'm getting this so I hope it's as good as it sounds but yeah that's the first thing the second thing I got which I have gotten before actually it's olive oil potato chips so if you look at the ingredients of a lot of the potato chips they're actually it's not good ingredients at all but this it's called it's from the brand called boulder canyon it's what it looks like and the only ingredients on there is potatoes olive oil sea salt that's it no added sugar nothing weird like that so this is also really nice because for a snack because when I'm working or I'm I just I like to snack throughout the day because if I get to the point where I'm super super hungry I'll just start eating uncontrollably so I got this and I'm now noticing a lot of the things that I got was savory I think it's because I was hungry so the other little chip situation that I got it's the Ciate grain free tortilla chips and I showed you guys this um, this one has no salt in it and the ingredients on this is cassava flour avocado oil coconut flour and ground chia seeds that's it so if you're obsessed with tortilla chips and you know that you're looking for something that's a healthier alternative this is a great way to go too I really like this a lot and they also have vegan queso here but they were sold out at the soul foods because i would have gotten it and they also have really healthy salsa where the ingredients are really clean too so there's always healthier alternatives so love this also i ended up getting the primal kitchen cilantro lime dressing i've used this so much in the past and then i kind of fell off for a little bit because i started doing my own little dressings at home but that's kind of getting a little bit boring so I picked this one up it's a cilantro lime dressing and it can also be used as a marinade so if you want to put this on chicken or shrimp or whatever this is also a really good option and it's paleo friendly so the ingredients are pretty solid so got that and then I picked up another one of the food for life gluten-free brown rice bread this is so good because I just feel like it's really filling and I think that's the gluten-free part because the bread's like really dense I really love this so I just finished this a couple of days ago so I picked up another one 
And then the last thing I got was oat milk because that's literally the whole reason why I came here. So this is the Khalifa Farms unsweetened oat milk and this is what that looks like. And I usually get the Oatly oat milk and then one time they were out so I ended up getting this one. And I don't know guys, I think I like this one even more than the Oatly. So yeah, I, I need to do a little bit more investigating. But this one is really bomb too and it's unsweetened and the ingredients on this one I feel like is a lot better than the Oatly ones so just keep that in mind but yeah that is basically everything that I got but anyway I'm gonna put that in the bag and I'm gonna head home I'm gonna do some work for a little bit it's three ish now and then I'm probably gonna go to a workout class later on I'm still undecided on that because I I'm really sore and I did lifting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I'm gonna go Friday, Saturday. So I might take today off, but I also might do a cycling class because I'm feeling that too. So we'll see what ends up happening. But anyway, I'm gonna end up this vlog over here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you enjoyed coming along with me, getting healthy ideas and just doing life with me. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. But I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.